It's Sensei Star with Big Bang Toys. I hope you're in the mood for karate, cause we're gonna rumble. Today we have fighting icons. Two rival dojos, two mythical rivals, and characters from the bloodiest battle for Earth. But let's start off with something a little less gory with our Karate Kid figures. First up to the mat, we have Daniel LaRusso from Miyagi-Do. His gi might be white, but that belt is black. Daniel's son even comes with his Rising Sun headband, and he can't be a karate champ without great articulation. This figure has 29 points of articulation to master that famous crane kick, and if you want more fighting power, LaRusso also comes with two alternate sets of karate hands. Now enough with that snowflake karate, it's time to strike hard, strike fast, and show no mercy. We've got everyone's favorite 90s bully, Johnny Lawrence. Johnny's got his screen accurate yellow and black karate gi. He comes with three heads, cold faced, angry, and angrier. And his 29 points of articulation is perfect for receiving a crane kick. And just like his foe, he comes with two alternate sets of hands. Speaking of foes, we have longtime rivals Scorpion and Sub-Zero from the Mortal Kombat 11 appearance. First in our MK line, we have the vengeful Get Scorpion. He comes with two katanas with sheaths and his famous kunai. Now you're probably wondering why Scorpion is missing his yellow attire. Well, that's because he's sporting his shadow skin, but his metallic silver accents makes up for his lack of classic yellow. Next up, we have Scorpion's mortal enemy, Sub-Zero. This Lin Kuei warrior has also switched up his skin to winter purple. Yes, all of his formerly blue accents have now taken a huge shift. His mask, shoulder pads, and gauntlets are now a cool purple. Even his icy weapons and severed skull have a vibrant purple tint. Moving on, we have another fighter entering the Tournament of Realms, Liu Kang. Liu Kang's wardrobe may look a little different because he's in his wushu skin. Earthrealm's champion comes with a pair of nunchucks. I don't know how helpful that'll be against Sub-Zero, but best of luck to you, sir. And finally, we have the host of this brutal tournament, Shao Kahn. Outworld's ruler is suited up with gold and red plated armor with a gnarly sharp headpiece. In addition to his towering stance and rippling muscles, he's got a big ass warhammer that matches his fit. Let's move our fight from the Outworld to Middle Earth. We have enemies turned bros, Legolas, and Gimli deluxe figures. Our bleach blonde elf has all of his looks from the screen plus his accessories. The Fellowship's greatest archer comes with an elven bow and a few arrows. And if you're into build a figure collecting, he comes with Sauron's right arm and leg. Rounding out our figures, we have Gimli. This war dwarf comes with two powerful axes and a set of interchangeable hands. And being a dwarf, he scaled accurately against Legolas. If you're looking to complete this line's build a figure, Gimli comes with a head of the Dark Lord Sauron. And those are just some of our fighting figures. If you want to see more, come on down to the store or check us out at BigBangToysLV.com. Let us know what you thought about these figures in the comments below and remember, no mercy! <laughs>